So I've just created a new uh, project and what I'm going to do is show you how you can define and set a custom coordinate system in StarNet. Uh, so you go to your options and then project options. I'm just going to define this adjustment as 3D and set the units to meters and you're going to want to toggle on uh, the grid setting and click into the create custom system option. Uh, so it brings up a new dialog box there for you and the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, give it a name. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is give it a name. Uh, so if you click into the box, um, it is required that you define it um, with a colon for your system name and there is a friendly note at the bottom uh, just to remind you in case you forget. Uh, so I'm just going to name this HL and I'm going to input um, my ellipsoid parameters and once you input the A and B values together it'll auto compute your inverse flattening for you and you're going to want to select um, your datum type so this will be a 7 parameter and it'll be a shift in the X, Y, and Z uh, for this example and the projection is a transverse mercator and the central meridian is at 117 degrees west at a latitude of zero and the scale is 0 0.9996 and a false easting of 500,000. Uh, so once you've input all the correct um, parameters for your system just hit OK and you're going to want to uh, click into the empty field box here and change your coordinate system group to user defined which is down at the bottom of the list and if you already have um, created some systems in the past you'll see them in the drop down list here uh, so I'm just going to select HL, which is the one I just created. And before I get out of this, the project options, I'm just going to go into the general tab and switch my longitude sign to negative west to reflect this system. And then I'm going to hit OK. And I'm just going to store a point on the origin. And latitude of 0 and negative 117 degrees for the longitude and I'll just give this an elevation of 100 and I'm just going to fix this and run the adjustment and if I go into my output tab and go into coordinates um, you can see that right now when I've set and ran the adjustment it computes a point right on the origin so it's not applying uh, the shift that I've set and that's because I have it in my adjustment options um, the ellipsoid that I've selected to use is per coordinate system uh, so when this setting is toggled uh, it's not going to apply the datum parameters that are set and defined in your system when it's set to um, per coordinate system uh, so for it to apply uh, your datum parameters you will need to change the ellipsoid to use WGS84 uh, so once I've done that and I rerun the adjustment, uh, you'll see that it does apply the shift in the output coordinate after I run the adjustment. Uh, so I run the adjustment, go back to our coordinates tab, and you can see that it is applying that uh, datum shift that we expect. And if you want to do a visual check, uh, you can go to your tools and export a KML and check that in Google Earth if you'd like. And that is how you would um, define and set a custom coordinate system in StarNet.